Howdy, everybody. I'm going to teach you about the centesimal frame. Um, we also call it the decimal converter. So this is something that the kids like to use in our classroom, and it converts fractions to decimals. <clears throat> so this is the introduction to the centesimal frame. So first of all, we want to understand what the word percent means. It's Latin for per 100 or really of 100. So percent is of 100. So do you notice on the centesimal frame, it is segmented into 100 parts. Here's 90 and then here's 10 more. So where the zero is, is also where the 100 is. Okay, because there are 100 parts or 100 lines. So let's take our unit fraction. This is our unit, right? This is one whole. This is one. If I place it into our centesimal frame, it takes up the entire frame. It uses up 100% of the frame. And <clears throat> that means, oops, I said it says low battery. That's okay. That means that it uses all of it. So this is 100% or 100 one hundredths. And remember, we've done our number roll and we've done our conversions. So you know if we had 100 one hundredths, that's the same as one. Remember our money lesson, 100 pennies is $1. Well, this is 100 using up 100 out of the 100 parts. So it is equal to one. I'll place this right here. <clears throat> Let's try our half. So here is our one half, right? I can place it in here and now it is taking up 50 of the parts, doesn't it? So that is our one half circle. It's our one half fraction. It's taking up 50 one hundredths. 50 one hundredths can also be written, as you all know now, like that, right? 50 one hundredths. So here are three different ways to write the same thing. Okay. Let's take this and set it right there. <clears throat> what if I were to do one third? Let's take a look at one third. Let's see, it's about 31, 32, 33. Huh, that's about 33 one hundredths. So let's write. <clears throat> Can you see what I'm doing? Here it is. One third is equal to, 100 is our denominator because that's how many parts there are. And I could write 33 out of the 100 parts. And let's take a look. So I wanna show you so you can see it clearly. There's 30, 31, 32, 33. That's 33 percent or 33 one hundredths, which is equal to, how can we write that with a decimal point? It's the same thing when we say 33 hundredths as that, isn't it? 33 hundredths, they are the same. What about <clears throat> one fourth? This is one of our one fourths. I will place it in my fancy decimal converter. And what do we see? What is it equal to? Well, here's 20 and here's 25. 25 
hundredths. So I will write one fourth equals, we have 100 parts, so our denominator is 100. Our numerator is 25. 25 hundredths. How can, how can we write that in a decimal form? 25 hundredths is written like this. 25 hundredths. Isn't that cool? Now think about this with money. Isn't this the same as a quarter? One fourth is also known as one quarter. It's a quarter of, like if you say it's a quarter past three, well, the clock has gone one fourth away around the clock. So this is a very well used word, quarter. Let's see if you can, maybe I should, oh. there, can you see that? <clears throat> we can keep going. Let's try one fifth. Here is one fifth. Well, so what is one fifth equal to in decimal? It's 20 hundredths or 20%. 20 hundredths is equivalent to one fifth. Our, our denominator is 100 and our numerator is 20. And what's that also equivalent to? If we write it as a decimal, one fifth is equal to 20 hundredths, which is equal to 0 0.20. One fifth. What about one sixth? One sixth. Mm, one sixth. Let's see. 10. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. <clears throat> it says it goes up to 16 here. 16 hundredths. 16 hundredths. Do you notice our numerators are getting smaller? Sixteen over one hundred, which is equal to point six teen. Okay. So now now you'd have had the introduction to the centesimal frame. That's basically all it is. If we were to do one tenth, well, it would equal to, look at this, see? Here's our one tenth. That's at 10%, isn't it? 10 hundredths is equal to one dime. We would write that as 10 over 100 or point one zero. Okay, next I'm going to teach you how to make your own centesimal frame.